Daniel Whiskey 5 Echo Kilo Golf. Another demo here with ICOM 9700. Uh, doing an AO91 pass. It's 0713 UTC. Whiskey 5 Echo Kilo Golf Echo Mark 16. Accidentally stepped on someone there. Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mike 16. Yeah, uh, was it uh, Fox, Yankee Alpha, is that right? Roger, Roger, N2, Fox, Yankee America. There's someone in there, sorry. Not quite getting in there. Uh, November 4, Romeo Delta X-ray, November 8, Hotel Mike, uh, Fox Mike 1-8. Uh, I'm not hearing him. My array's about to spin around. Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mike 16. K5 Zulo Mike Whiskey 5 Echo Kilo Golf EM 1659 Oklahoma QSL. Roger, thanks for Echo Mike 16. Roger, Roger, Echo Mike 16. Yeah, thank you for the contact. Doing a demo here at the ICOM 9700 in satellite mode. Let me get you on there. Yeah, thank you for working. <clears throat> Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mark 16. Yeah, I lost the bird there. Hold on, sorry. Is that November 8, Hotel Mike? Sorry, bird faded. Fading in and out there. I'm gonna pass the south now. Let that rearrange real quick. Let's see if I can zoom in on this hand adapter real quick. November 8, Hotel Mike, Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf. If I can snag him one more time, make a complete QSO here with him so I can confirm that. Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mike 16. 
Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mike 16. I'm losing the bird spinning away from me. I got you in there November 8th. Hotel Mike. I was just saying able to hear if uh, you QSL back. Going right overhead. I think that was it. I'd have to double check. I think I was at like 80 degrees of elevation. Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mark 16. another contact or not. Whiskey 5, Echo Kilo Golf, Echo Mike 16. Okay, so we just had an AO91 pass. Um, about 7, 19 UTC. It's 2.19 in the morning here in Central Oklahoma. I uh, wanted to do another demo for you guys on 9700 told you I'd try to do some demos as I could um, the uh, one of the things another YouTube uh, scrubber asked on one of my posts uh, he was talking about the AFC function I want to clarify that for my other videos uh, the AFC function is only for receive it has uh, nothing to do with transmit audio on the 9700 I'm still having some issues with my SAT PC 32 software communicating with the 9700 so I'm just using it for rotor control seeing some posts uh, some people talking about some different settings I uh, get the 9700 working for SAT PC 32 I have not found anything that's worked for me yet so I'm just sticking with the AFC function I like it um, does what I need for Doppler effect on receive and then I can adjust uh, transmit um, if need be and I might back that up by um, since I've been testing the 9700 I've been using uh, my SDR Uno with an RSP2 on a secondary antenna just kind of watching the Doppler effect of the birds coming in it's kind of neat to sit there and watch them because as they're coming in they're going to be higher in frequency and as they're moving along you're going to see them moving in lower frequency so we'll use that to back it and just kind of watch um, and see how the scope compares to that because I know SDR Uno and the RSP2 is good and it's been spot on so uh, as stated in the previous videos uh, the functionality has been almost identical to 7300 I have one that I take portable um, but uh, I don't think of anything else hit the AFC function uh, I gotta try to do some more on some linear birds software wise like I said SAT PC32 I have not got it to properly communicate and change bands uh, as it shows downlink and uplink um, correction on there I did get it once when I was using others settings with ICOM but it was not letting me get into the bird even though I had the frequencies correct in the file with the uh, repeater tones it just was I just wasn't getting into the bird I could turn off cat control and would immediately get into the bird so I'm watching that comparing that as well with the ham radio deluxe satellite tracking and it's been pretty spot-on as well so uh, a few people have asked me what my setup is well I've changed that here recently I originally had 13 uh, two 13 b2s vertically bayed so I was trying to do some EME work on a city lot I uh, was not satisfied with the 13 uh, B2's performance on sideband, CW, moon bounce. I did a echo test, results from nil. I did uh, CW one night, got one signal back, I was able to bounce back, um, and the performance was really poor using them on satellite as well. So I'm going to scrap those. 
Uh, I got them locally for a good deal, so I'm not going to be out a whole lot of money. I may keep one and stick it up on my main tower. Uh, see if it how it does on uh, sideband at 65 feet uh, versus this other tower. Uh, the, my satellite tower is just uh, 30 feet of on 25. Uh, I got an M2 Leo pack um, back up there now. It was my old setup. I put it back up there with a Yaesu G5500 rotor. Um, I have that in with the LVB tracker rotor software. Uh, it's on a hazer so I can crank it up and down and do maintenance on it instead of climbing up and hanging off the top of the tower. Run an LMR Flex uh, 400 coax. Other than that, I've been doing I get bird meter. Um, was doing some power testing on that. Uh, I think the other night whenever I was doing some CW on there just testing some moon bounce stuff. I was putting out a little over 100 watts on CW. So um, other than that, that's that's my 9700 setup. I don't know if people were asking about uh, the other setup I have in my shack. My other main rig is 7610, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, LP500 station monitor. I use with that whenever I kick my amplifier in. I can watch. Uh, watch that green heron rotor controller for my main rotor on Mosley Pro 57B40. Uh, picked that up at a ham fest for a really good price. Running a DX Engineering NCC2 phased uh, receive verticals. Mainly do that to null out some RFI, a lot of RFI that I have in the neighborhood that comes on, uh, comes and goes. Uh, SDR Uno with an RSP2 that I have up there. And then, let's see what else I got. Um, there's my amplifier over there. Um, portable radios, which I was actually um, programming some stuff in them in between these satellite passes. I mainly run Motorola portables uh, because they're, of their durability, because uh, I use them at work as well, work in the fire service. Get the uh, APX Series XTX. Uh, XTS and XPR series got a Kenwood over there as well. Acom amp, uh, Maritron for backup. <clears throat> um, other antennas have a told you my satellite array that I have um, on one tower. My main tower is a US tower, is a TX455, 55 foot uh, retractable tower with a power motor on it. Uh, 10 foot mass Mosley sits about 65 feet in the air with my trend dual band on top uh, have it shunt loaded for 160 meters and uh, an inverted L uh, for low angle DX on 80 um, I primarily my primary thing in this hobby is low band DX uh, that's what I love doing um, and that's uh, what my main projects are coming out of the winter months getting into the loud summer months a lot of static crashes from thunderstorms and stuff like that. Um, getting back up into, uh, I'll hang out on uh, 20 a little bit, uh, and uh, 40 and 20 I guess. Uh, but then I, I start getting back into VHF, UHF, satellite work, stuff like that. And then once it starts getting fall and starting to calm down, I'll go back to low band DXing again. So um, that's that's uh, what I do here. This is my setup. Uh, so got to do have uh, these Mirage uh, preamps. I have them up at the mast on the Sat Leo pack. They come off about a foot away from the antennas uh, so I'm picking up when I kick the preamps on I'm getting noise you know, mainly from the antennas and not the feed line going out there and then I can just control them over here if it's too loud. So other than that um, said I've been pretty happy with this 9700 uh, I spoke with y'all on that AFC function uh, make sure there was no um, misconception about that in my other video sorry if it was uh, confusing people on how I worded it on there um, but other than that I will uh, keep working some birds and make some videos when I can 
And if y'all have any more questions, feel free to uh, comment on the videos or there's been some people that's been emailing me some different stuff and I'll be more than happy uh, to answer when I can. Um, and if you see me uh, looping on a video, feel free to call me out as well. I'm all for constructive criticism. So, um, and other than that, that's all I got for tonight. This is Daniel Whiskey 5 Echo Kilo Golf, signing 7-3.